So I want to talk about who is the sun god Nika because who's who brought it up in chapter 1018 and basically what he said was that the sun god Nika, she or they, I, I don't really think it's a specific person. I think it's more of a title similar to Joy Boy. I did a video about Joy Boy, it's in the description, but basically he said that sun god Nika brings smiles and brings joy and happiness to slaves back in the ancient times that it's a war and he brought happiness to those and gave hope to those who had lost it. And the reason why he brought up the Sun Pirates because he figured Sun God Nika, the Sun Pirates. Now there was some half truths in what he said. The Sun Pirates are composed of some former slaves. We saw that they would hide the claw of the Celestial Dragon within the Sun Pirates tattoo. However, the fishmen being specifically slaves and like their whole history is about slaves that's why jimmy got upset because that's not necessarily true and so personally i think that the sun guy nika is well sky pia's version of joy boy like i said earlier i did a video about joy boy being in the script I'm not going to talk about everything and how he's connected in this video however it is not far-fetched for it to be the Shandians version of Joyba because we've seen that the Shandians and Skypea they've called something um, or had another term different. We see observation hockey mantra, and in a couple chapters, I believe it's chapter 286, we see Luffy, or uh, I don't know what there's one chapter that they talk about the sun god before. I'll have it on the screen, and there's also in the same or a different chapter, we see an image of Luffy dancing around the fire. We see it in, I believe, chapter 300, and there's another chapter as well, but it looks exactly like the image of the sun god that was in chapter 1018. Another chapter that made reference to the sun god was chapter 867. It dealt with Big Mom and Mother Carmel. This was a little bit different. It didn't really seem like someone or a higher being or someone that gave happiness or anything. To me, it looked more like Prometheus or something like that, but I still had to make reference because they did talk about the sun god in this chapter. And before I go and talk about why the sun god is related to Luffy, sun god Nika, I wanna talk about the freedom that Luffy gave slaves or former slaves because the definition of a slave is someone who's not free someone who is property if you will and so luffy has freed and given good times to a lot of people who aren't free in the series for example we have boa hancock right we know that she was a former slave of the celestial dragons and that she resented and hated men and when she finally got to actually talk to luffy she felt some form of at ease, a good moments, good times. We saw her laugh it off. We see that she fell in love with Luffy because Luffy was the first man to ever treat her in this way. Like I said, he's a warrior who gave her good times, good feelings, good emotions, and took away all the burdens and the sadness. We also know about Rebecca, that she was a slave to Doflamingo, forced to be a gladiator in the Coliseum. Well, the amount of times that Rebecca had been through emotionally with Doflamingo's Ridiculous, when she met Luffy or Lucy, she felt that everything had gone away, she was in good spirits, and that she actually smiled for the first time. And so Rebecca, we see how the people of the Coliseum treated her, they hated her, resented her, but when Luffy was in the picture, that he didn't treat her the same way as other people did. And he ended up stopping Doflamingo, bringing her happiness. She was able to see her father again, her grandfather again, etc. And we also have the prisoners of Impo Down. They weren't free. However, who's who? I want to bring them up because who's who was a slave and a former prisoner. Like I said, he wasn't free. And so the people of Impo Down, when Luffy freed them, they were happy. Luffy gave them a spark, gave them high emotions. We saw uh, Ivankov, Jimbe, um, the queers from New Common Land, uh, Bon Clay, just all of them. As soon as Luffy came, he turned Impel down upside down. Another person I want to talk about is Vivi. She was a slave to Crocodile in his kingdom. Vivi even stated herself that when she was on the ship, that all the birds would go away. And the fact that Luffy told her himself that well, don't burden everything alone. We're friends, right? So Luffy, he took all of Vivi's suffering away, made her feel at home, made her feel wanted, and which is why she was debating, should she be a straw hat pirate? I mean, I know she technically is a former member, but she was debating she should go on the crew with them because she had such great times with them. 
And the last person I want to talk about is Shira Hoshi. She was a slave. Well, because she was beside it, she couldn't go out in the world. She couldn't explore everything. Uh, the fear of Vander Decken. And I guess you could say Hody Jones and the other Fishman Pirates. But Luffy came. He took away her fears. Let her see the world and explore the world for the first time. She had so much enjoyment that she never had before she met Luffy. We see Shira Hoshi. She was always scared. And she never had a smile on her face. But then when she met Luffy, she finally opened up. And she had good times. And she was smiling all the time. Needless to say... These are examples of people who weren't free or were slaves, and Luffy ended up saving them, bringing them joy, bringing them happiness, and freeing them from their past or their slave bonds. And Luffy's Gear Fourth form has been shown or stated to be of a god or a deity or something like that. We saw, I believe, in 993 Hero he mentioned that. Luffy's a god deity or that's that god deity form or something like that and then there was a chapter it might have been 990 I don't know but I think 990 was the one about the deity form and then 993 we see a balloon or a picture a balloon from the fire festival of this god deity it kind of looks similar to Luffy's gear fourth form and this is where I want to talk about how the sun god can uh, has something to do with Luffy's new a uh, new gear or new form now, personally, I like whenever Luffy gets a new form. However, I feel like he should get a Gear 5 instead of being a new Gear 4th form. Because, well, we've been using Gear 4th or different variants of it since Dress Rosa, right? A Dress Rosa, Zhao, Whole Cake Island, and now one of this, the 4th arc that we've been introduced to Gear 4. And like I said, don't get me wrong, Snake Man, Take Man, Bow Man, they're cool. But I, I would prefer us to get a Gear 5, however... The reason why people are saying that it's um, the Sun God Nika is related to Gear Fourth is because of Sun Wukong, the Chinese mythology. I'm not really good with the whole mythologies, Roman, Greek, Chinese, and all that. However, I did do a little bit of research, and I know you guys have heard of Sun Wukong, but I do have to bring this up. So, if you guys did not know what's the origin or the story behind Sun Wukong, basically, he traveled through a waterfall, climbing up a waterfall, Luffy going up the a waterfall to Wano, and he declared himself king. Luffy, during the battle, he said he's going to defeat everybody and become the Pirate King. And it also was stated, uh, I believe that it said that he's going to take down the Dragon King. He's going to take down the Dragon in Kaido. And it said that he's going to take other demons down as well, which would be Kaido's underlings and, I guess, people who work with Orochi. So the um, the three all-stars, the Toby Ropo, and any of Orochi's men. And it also says that he gets help from other monkeys. Um, that's his straw hats. And I guess you could say um, the kid pirates, the law pirates, the minks, and the samurais as well. And so since they already talked about Gear Forth being... Um, similar to a guardian deity, a lot of people have speculated that Luffy's going to get a new form, which would be form of snake, well, I guess gear four form of monkey man, or gear four form of, um, sun god, or uh, sun wukong man, or sun wukong monkey, or something along those lines. Luffy has to get a new gear four, I'm, uh, well, a new gear, I'm sorry. I know he got Conqueror's Hockey, he can code his attacks in Conqueror's, and I know that he has Rio. however, let's be real, Rio and Conqueror's Hockey attacks, they're not enough. I personally think Kaido's the strongest in the series, if you don't think so, that's fine, however, you have to give him at least top three. Luffy, he was pushed to the edge to go against a first commander in Katakuri, and I understand Luffy got stronger, but in order to beat an Emperor of the Sea, people who are considered top tiers, not just Kaido. But let's say he has to fight Shanks, Blackbeard, Big Mom, Akainu, Kizaru, all those people like that. Luffy needs a new form. It's, it's no longer, oh, I can beat him in Bound Man. No, Luffy, you can't do that. You have to get stronger and a new form is necessary. So to conclude this video, who is Sun God Nika? It's probably the Sky Peans or the Shandians version of joy boy because we know that joy boy brings laughter and joy to people it's the title and so luffy does the same thing he's been proving he's done it with hancock shirahoshi vivi the prisoners impel down rebecca etc and so it's also stated that luffy looks like a god deity and also i want to bring mention that luffy has some role or some higher role because when he escaped um i believe it was impel down 
um, Lady Nui or the previous Glorisa or something like that, the previous princess or empress of the Kuja Pirates, she says, well, Luffy, when he went to Impel Down, he was going to be nothing but an ant. However, he ended up causing havoc in Impel Down and at Marine Fort, and he ended up surviving the battle. So she wanted to know what God's destiny or what God had placed on Luffy's soldiers. But this has to do with Gear Forth, um, because like I said, they believe that Luffy is, or it looks like a deity, which is why a lot of people speculate that Luffy will get a new Gear Forth or a new Gear, something like Gear Forth or Gear Five, some Wukong Man, some Monkey Man, or something along those lines in order to beat Kaido. Because in Chinese mythology, some Wukong he did beat the Dragon King and became king himself. But let me know your guys' thoughts about this theory. Do you guys agree? Who do you guys think Sun Nika is? But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you guys never miss out a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. It's on the screen in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to unleash your potential.